Watching Tom through this journey from the first movie into now has been so rewarding. The first movie is about Spider-Man really wanting to prove himself to Tony Stark and working so hard to do that that he ends up screwing up and making things a million times worse. Like, that's just exactly how I felt on the first movie. <laughs> Tom and I both felt the same. Like, where are we? What's going on? This is a crazy opportunity. Let's not screw it up. This is insane. Look at this thing. Look. We both grew up together. I don't feel like it was a parental role. I felt like we were all the kids. What's interesting in the previous films is that he really has been the spider boy. What about me? What about you? Uh, I mean, what if Mrs. Stark needs me or something, or I don't know, something big goes down. And this film is about him becoming Spider-Man. It's about him growing up, making his own decisions, and stepping up to the plate as a full-blown Avenger. And it's been really nice to kind of have that dovetail between myself on Spider-Man Homecoming, and now who I am and who Peter Parker is in Spider-Man No Way Home. My name is Peter Parker, and I would like a coffee, please. With great power comes great responsibility. Keep being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That's what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. All right, let's do this. Let's Focus, trust your tingle. I have the tingle thing, just not for bread. You are amazing. Thank you, yeah, thanks. Will you say it? No, I kind of needed to hear that. Thank you. Peter one, Peter two, Peter three. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, I think I can repair Dylan and Marco, but the others, um... The idea that they are all the same thing and they could all come together and sort of help each other, that to me felt like it was part of the DNA of the story that we were already trying to tell. And that gave me an entry point to actually get them together so that it was a story element and an emotional thing. You're okay. I got gotcha. you. I got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You okay? They grow and they change and they evolve from different writers to different artists. And in the case of the films, different actors. That's why the Marvel characters have persevered so long through the decades. And then you have the fun of starting to pitch it to the actors and doing something that is worthy of their time and of their energy and stepping back into this role. I had butterflies in those meetings with Toby and Andy, hoping that they would sign up. This is Peter Parker's, Peter Parker's, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. There are other me's from another dimension. This is the wizard that I was telling you about. 